so you're on the the jury for score follower right yeah so i remember i probably something i should mention right off the bat because me and our tune were talking about score follower and i was saying that i was unsure about the curation practices of mm. score follower because every time i'm on that site or on the youtube channel i realized that they all kind of have a similar aesthetic but then our tune was telling me <laughs> on the show that you know there is something about curating a certain aesthetic or group of aesthetics and actually like mid show i think i even said so on the show that i actually agree so i changed my mind on the mm. show i guess because if you're not curating at all then what are you doing you're just kind of having a hodgepodge of stuff that you're not yeah. making a decision about what you like and what you don't like so now we have someone that's actually on the jury for this so this is cool to actually see the behind the scenes of what happens yeah at some point i was i wasn't sure if i should say that but then i found out that our names are on the uh, score follower website so it's okay it's okay to so say it's okay that. okay yeah but i think there are two tiers to that you know because first the score follower founders they actually choose people uh, they want to contact and they're, they ask to adjudicate so that's the first level of cur curation that happens because we as adjudicators we can just um yeah follow our own judgment and choosing the pieces choosing i mean giving them points because we g give them points and they get um, summarized at the end and you know the pieces that got a lot of points they usually get considered uh, to be published and those who got low points they they don't so that's basically it but then we are also curating it somehow right through our own preferences and music through your own contacts because i want to backtrack a little bit you mentioned that you guys, as the adjudicators, you contact people that you like their music. Is that what you said first? No, or no, how no. does that happen? And the, actually, how, what's the first point of contact, I guess, with the compositions themselves? Well, so there is a call, right? And the people who started Score Follower, they usually make a spreadsheet for us. So once it's decided who's the ND adjudicator team, we get one month um, to look through usually 200 or more pieces each each Wait, of you us have gets. you only have one month to go through 200 pieces yeah <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> that's why I, I didn't make it to the end sometimes so yeah i can imagine yeah it's a lot also because you know it would feel shitty if you can't really look closely on someone's work and i always try to um, at least look at like five points in the piece and listen to at least half of it and then read sometimes the performance notes. So we have 200 pieces and then we go through them. And at the end of the month, um, score follower uh, team just um, looks through our the points that we have given to the pieces and then they decide who's getting it and who's not, who's going to have a video published. And how many adjudicators are there? It depends. But at least eight, ten people. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot of people. And all eight to ten of these adjudicators are supposed to look through the two hundred pieces. It's not like some of them have twenty and the other have twenty. And it's like you all are supposed right. to listen to all of them. Um, no, because there is usually more than two hundred pieces. Sometimes there is six hundred. Sometimes more. So you're so, assigned two hundred out of the six hundred ish. Yeah. So you don't even hear the other four hundred. No, there is, that's why there is always responsibility to kind of try to go through your 200 the moment you start with number whatever it oh is, 156, God. and then you go through, try to go through 200 pieces. Yeah. Wow. And then they have the adjudication, there's the point system. So what exactly is, is that, can that be public? What, what exactly are the points I'm that you're... I'm not sure. It's pretty clear because it's not just like yes, no. There is something in between where you can be like, I'm not sure. So if other people really like that piece and you're like not really sure if, if it should be on Scoreful or not, it could still be considered because if other people give it a lot of points, you know. Yeah. Well, of course, yeah. If, if a few people don't like the piece, but a, a few, other, I mean, more people like the piece, I mean, of course, it's going to be 
yeah. it, it's going to be more considered. Yeah, it makes sense. And then if everybody likes the piece, they'll put it on score follower, I'm assuming, right? Right. And out right. of those, let's say if there's 600, just to put a, an example of number, how many of those get chosen to be featured on the channel? Quite a lot, actually. I can't really say no, um, because we usually don't get the number. We just get, from what I remember, a list of names just before it gets uh, mm -hmm. published. But I'm pretty sure at least 50 people, if not more. That's a yeah. lot. That's more than That's I thought. Quite a lot. Yeah, yeah, 50 out of 600. Let's say 50 out of 500. Just to make the math easy, is like 10%. Yeah. So that's pretty good, actually. It's most contests, it's like way less than like 3% or something or right. that kind of thing.